heard you say that, uh, often people have some kind of intent, like strong story or some like guilt or a sense of unworthiness that keeps them just that keeps them in there, if you like. Um, and um, through seeing that. Uh, I don't know if I got this right, but... No, you haven't. <laughs> no, I mean, only apparently, but the seeing of it doesn't make any difference. There is, you know, it's like me recognises that it keeps me locked in as a me, then that still goes on. It's illuminating, but it doesn't bring about an end to that chain. I did get it wrong. Sorry? I did get it wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there are kind of like self-inquiry is, is a system or a, a process that's being uh, used quite a lot these days. And one of the theories in, in self-inquiry is that, uh, one of the basis of it is that actually separation is just a thought. That's a fairly superficial idea of what separation really is. But that's a theory in, in life. You read a lot of people who teach self-inquiry that and um, basically, if um, I don't know how they think this works, but if there is something in you that then understands that so that something is only a thought, then it will simply come out. Well, it's just so superficial; it's not true. But it's like it's rather like the secret in America. I don't know if you know it. It's a, based on a belief system. It's about affirmations and. If you believe you can be rich, then you will be one day. This is the basis of, of the self inquiry that seeing the separation is just the thought, and then it won't be there anymore. It's the same very superficial idea. But, but that, even the recognition of me, I mean, there are all sorts of ways in which me keeps itself together. One of them is seeking, of course. But you know, there are other games and, uh, that it plays feeling remorse or guilty or confused or um, well there are all sorts of different ways it does keep itself locked in there but recognising that is only another form of understanding all you now recognise is the, the dilemma you're living in it doesn't mean you could go away and essentially separation is energetic and so um, that in some way or other that constrained energy simply collapses and becomes whole again. It never was anything else but whole, but it appears to be constrained, and that constraint suddenly isn't there. But no amount of clarity will ever bring that about. mention that not you it happened um, that it's an energetic thing and there's this recognition while this body or whatever is here that the tension in the body becomes less and there's more energy yeah when when me drops away there isn't that energy going into maintaining me isn't there naturally just is energy. Yeah. Okay. Then there's but then there's no not this tension anymore. There's oh, just no. this uh, no. wholeness energy. Yeah, me die intention dies with me. Me lives in intention <laughs> to become happy or whatever you like. And me shall is so does intention. Mm -hmm.
want to, to know on, on my experience when you wake up. So is that a video? So I can hear you, but you just take it a can bit you? take it a bit away from your mouth or something. Okay. okay. <laughs> um in my experience it's like this when you when you wake up from this illusion and sometimes drop back into this illusion that, that the body seems this body illusion seems to be like a big memory card. Like like all the stories are like like I don't know how to say that. Um, they are like in your body and sometimes they can can come up. They always happen. Some some unconscious ones also and when the yeah. conscious ones are gone, the unconscious ones come up and they are sometimes much more intense than anything and you don't know what's going on. And this can even be painful sometimes on a physical level. Uh, just let's be clear here, you're talking about what's happening there. You can't generalize and say that this is Okay, what okay, it was for me it was like this. Uh, for my <laughs> yeah, for this fine. illusion it was like this. Yeah. Well yeah. And I have the feeling that this is still going on and I'm still, I mean, I know on the one hand it's an illusion, but on the other hand... Oh, knowing it's an illusion doesn't make any difference. <laughs> it's still what seems to be happening. Yeah, so can, can you say that no. on... <laughs> <laughs> on a level of, of story, is it like a, like a process? No. There is no process, but there is something that seems to happen. And often when an opening to this or an awakening happens, then, as I've told you before, the me comes back and fights for its life. Because it somehow recognizes that maybe it's got to do that, to stay there. Because now, you know, me hates this message because it's about the end of me. So if, if somehow there's an opening, to the possibility that there is no one, then me comes back and fights, brings all its guns out. But not every time, not with everyone. You can never say that's a rule. For some people, nothing much happens at all in what I would call the apparent awakening period. Of course, there is no awakening period and there's no process happening, but that's what seems to happen. Me, me will hold on to itself in whatever way it can regardless of seeking or awakening or not, because that's what it seems to do. It wants to survive. When there's an opening to this, it will fight to survive. And it may still survive in that body for the rest of its apparent life. Mm -hmm. And it may not. But there's nothing that can be done, and it's not a process. In the end, if that me suddenly collapses, it's seen that what you've just described never happened. Yeah. Well. Um, it never happened because um, all that's happening is this here. 
Well, actually, yeah, this is the other awful part of the mystery of the amazing government. Actually, there's nothing happening. <laughs> <laughs> there only appears to be something happening. Yes, well, no, no thing appears to be something happening. Actually, there's nothing happening. <laughs> That's an appearance, so that's nothing appearing to be happening. This is a, you know, this can't be, no, it can't be, it's a mystery. Literally. Yeah, it's sitting on what he longs for. 
and like being being here or watching um, video clips, it is like expanding into nothing. Uh -huh. There's a, like a double C, and you can see everything. Everything you can see uh -huh. is nothing. Uh -huh. Well, that certainly feels like it's a glimpse, of, but it really is not happening to you. It's only it's what it is. It's it glimpses. It's, it's, it's glimpses, or seem to be glimpses. Yeah. Yeah. It's not only here, it's, it, it happens that this is something like a double C, I, would, I call it double C. Okay. It, that everything is nothing, I can see it's nothing. Right. It has no meaning, it's not clear to me. But you can't see that there's nothing, there's a C that there's nothing. There's a C. Okay. Well that is an awakening, which doesn't, nobody has awakenings, they don't happen to people. They just are there and then usually the me comes back and wants to sort of have that. <coughs> That's right, yeah. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. So nothing to do. There's nothing to do. Oh, really. No, but also it's even worse than that. <laughs> there is no one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So obviously there will be. This is also known that there's no one. Yeah. Yeah. Just a question: What said the, this woman? Um, what is seeing that it's like this double thing? What is seeing that? Well, it's it's always difficult in a way to talk about this because I wasn't. You know, it's um, a, what awakening is that there is a me, and then there isn't anything but wholeness. But there's no me in that. There's just nothing but wholeness. It's not experienced on no mind. There's suddenly a blank in which there is wholeness and it can't be described or known. And then it seems in awakening that the me comes out of the other side of that and wants to have what's just happened. Mm -hmm. I don't know what double seeing, what you mean by double seeing. I mean, um, for example, if I look at some a person or a, a tree, yeah. I'm also like in the tree uh, or in the person. And, um, what does that mean? Uh, it's hard to describe, but when you talked yesterday about detachment, I'm always worrying that I'm detached. Right. But I'm feeling like it, the, the body is here, so I'm not up there or something. But everything is like... Um, if I'm looking at the wall, it's just if I'm there. And I, but I'm also here, so it's yeah, hard to describe. And I, I, my feeling is, my sense of what you're saying is more what I'm talking about. There isn't anything here that would be in the wall, but in some way or other, there's nothing here and there's nothing in the wall. There just is what is. But it's certainly not a transference of this energy into anything. And I, this is that thing about. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm just sometimes worried that it's really I'm going mad. Oh, so. no, 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 no. <laughs> Don't worry, there's nothing to worry about. Mm -hmm. Nothing really. There's all those sort of strange inferences that seem to take place. But there's nothing balmy about any of them. But just uh, this question, when, I mean, it's like, I mean, it's coming like out of my eyes. You know what I want to say? Yeah. Well, you tell me. So there's, <laughs> so there's energy, you, you are coming out of your eyes? Or I mean, I see the things, but I'm also like feeling I'm out there. So I, I, my question is, when you say everything is energy, but I'm still, it's still like it's coming out of my eyes. Okay, and so, out, so for me, that's still in like, the sense of projection of okay. me rather than... There's nothing here that's, there's nothing here, so there's nothing anywhere else, and there's no uh, sense of something here being somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's what yeah. you say. But just another question, maybe the contrary, what, what would be detachment? detachment? Would it be, be I mean, out of the body or something? No, no, not at all. No, no. It doesn't have to be. Detachment is like being um, in a state within, 
which is aware or knows everything else that's happening around that state. Therefore, this stated here is apart from that or the wall. It's apart, but it knows the wall, and it's aware of it being there. That's the touch. So there's a there's a space between this and that. So it's more like a feeling of separation. Or? Sorry. No, it's absolute separation. Okay. Uh, Self-inquiry is the most effective way to be separate. Good. Okay. Oh, absolutely. It's a sort of uh, um, something that's taken on by me, which has then become spiritualized and turned into some sort of special uh, function, which is actually only a sort of um, extreme self-consciousness which brings about an apparent all-knowing all-aware all-conscious state within which is godlike and it feels very freeing because somewhere there's something in here watching a film go on called life so i'm watching life go on like god it's a wonderful feeling it lasts sometimes can last a week but it's a purely a state, and it comes and goes. But what you're talking about doesn't feel that doesn't feel like the touch. There are strange things, you know. When there's an ending to this, there's all sorts of strange things that can happen, like I am the tree, or. Uh, <laughs> but in the end, in the end, the final thing is in this guy the bull. Nobody, this happens with all the people. It's happening to quite a few people now that we come across, and they can't describe this. What <coughs> liberation, for want of a better word, cannot be described. I mean, I don't think I'm the tree, it's just no. not so far away that right. it's like everything melted, or I don't know what to say. Okay, thank you.
that Buddha under the Bodhi tree when he awakened said I and all other sentient beings in all the world became enlightened at the same time. Could you explain that? Well no, it's funny for me because I hear a different story. <laughs> <laughs> the one I heard was somebody said to him after the Tim Abrazation, what happened? And he said nothing. That's the one I that I have, which is much more simple than your explanation. But of course, um, in a sense, you could say everything in the world and everything is in line. But it's like saying there's only nothing. So that's your story. That's my story. Yeah. <laughs> All there is is the infinite, which can't be described. When somebody asked you like what you see and you, you said oh, all I see is people, oh it's bodies. Oh, but um, do you not see like bodies believing themselves to be individuals? Only when they put their hands up and play. <laughs> Standing waiting for a bus 
is what he's longed for. <laughs> not, not as a story, but in, within, the, within the essence of what's happening is what he's longed for.
I'm fantasizing a little bit. So yeah, that's good um, fun. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> Say on Monday morning I wake up and partly the me has collapsed, but I'm not yet grounded in no thinness. You so maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe. So in other words, I completely freak out. Yeah. Yeah. My wife, which is as you for some time that I'm a little bit weird, seizes the opportunity to get rid of me and calls for medical assistance. <laughs> This is a good story, I like it. <laughs> so, two hours later, I'm locked up in the kitchen. What could I possibly tell the doctors? Is it telling me we see Terry Parsons? May I have your telephone number? <laughs> you can get me out. You can have my lawyers. <laughs> Small me's or are they all the same? <laughs> there are some are red and some are green, <laughs> black bits. Um, there can be uh, a bigger sense of, of me, uh, some and not others, but that doesn't make any difference to the, that collapse. Whether it's bigger or small. It's only a fantasy anyway, it's only an energy, a fantasy. There can be more of an investment in me or more or less, but there's no, nothing that can be done about that. And there's nothing wrong with more of an investment or less. It has nothing to do with the investment in me. Liberation happens despite me, not because of it. <laughs> or apparently happens. You said before there is no earth to save, and there is also no universe we live in. There's no universe we live in. 
There are so many interference of the universe and the earth. The earth is interfering. The earth is nothing earthy. This uh, energy contraction that you talk about, uh, this, this is what you call the medium. Okay. Yeah. Um, I had this experience that my arm is just an arm, my leg is just a leg, but my throat is a throat plus something. Wow. My chest is a chest plus something. And it's not really a question. Um, no, it's all right. I I, my sense was that there's an energy um, center here, and also there, there can be a sense of a me <coughs> in the body, like it's a contraction of energy. <coughs> so the throat might feel tight in the chest. Has it always been like that? Uh, for as many years as I can remember.
So he never came back for any more meetings. <laughs> There is a story about two monks um, uh, talking about oneness and saying to each other, it is like a mirror which is perfectly polished uh, to reflect anything without stain. And then another one said, no, you're wrong. There is no mirror from the beginning. Uh, Could you comment on that? There's nothing. Uh, there's no mirror stories. There's no mirror stories, yes. It's only real. The wall is real. 
not real and unreal, it's only real. So it's lens object of a solid object. That's what's dissatisfying about being me. It lives in a world of objects that are solid and real. Whereas the reality is everything is real and unreal. Takes out all the aliveness. Sorry. Takes out, out all the aliveness. Oh yeah, the, the, the aliveness isn't there in that sense. The real, the real quality of everything is that it's real and unreal. It's, it is and it isn't. It's it's a it's a it's a sort of miracle in a way because the wall is nothing more than when there's no meaning. That's absolutely obvious. Not to anyone. It's obvious that everything is real and unreal. So it's then alive, whereas in the meanwhile it's fixed and solid. Um. Yeah, I mean. 